Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99, eat rice. If you only listen to one thing I say, listen to this. Rice is the breakfast of champions and the lunch of champions and the dinner of champions. Whole empires and dynasties have been nourished by the simple grain. Besides, it's good for you. Ask your grandma. The rest of the advice and stuff I'm going to tell you is my own opinion, but try listen, okay? Okay. Don't think too much about what's going to happen to you later on in the future. Take time to smell the pikake and sit under a coconut tree with one canned soda. But make sure the coconut tree is trimmed or maybe you're not going to have one future. Try one new shave ice flavor every week. Give directions to a tourist. Treat all your relationships with proper respect. This state is so small that eventually you're going to run into your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend's 350-pound former St. Louis linebacker cousin who now works corrections at Old Triple C. Cruise Hale Eva. Don't worry if someone dances better than you. Not everyone can be Miss Aloha Hula, but trust me, there will be always something you do that you do better than anybody else, even if it's just signing your name. Drive barefoot, no throw away your graduation lace for at least one month. Candy lace can last up to five months. If you don't eat them by then, dump them. Learn to play at least one song on the ukulele. Besides pearly shells, don't stress if you don't get your dream job the first year, or the second year, or the third year. Maybe the fifth year, you can start sweating. Meanwhile, night shifts at Zippy's is cool. Eat poke and poi. The poi can be the o, not the poke. Whatever you do, no go Vegas more times than you can afford. You will only make economy up there better for all your friends who relocated there last year and then they will never come back and it will be your fault and don't rely on little green frogs that's all they are little green frogs at least once watch the entire marijuana competition on tv from start to finish visit each neighbor island at least once go to the big island twice once for Kona, once for Hilo. On second thought, go to Kona twice. Spend time with your grandpa and grandma. After they're gone, you're going to wish you had asked your grandpa about what he did in the 100th Battalion. And you're going to wish you had written down the recipe for grandma's special macaroni salad. But then, it's going to be too late. Be nice to your parents and siblings if only for insurance purposes, so that later on in life, you'll have someone to babysit when you want to go out at night. Drive to Makakilo at least once in your lifetime. Laugh at ethnic jokes. You are ethnic, whether you like it or not. No get hoo-hoo about all kinds of stuff. You gotta accept that Waikiki is now the property of tourists, that the fixed rail system will never get built that the state legislature is more talk than walk, and that the Bishop Estate trustees will still be there making 20 times more money than what you earn. No listen to people on the radio who give you all kind of advice. Most of it is hot air. Sunscreen? Nah. But don't forget to eat your rice.